Hello everyone, welcome back. So today we'll be talking about PIM, which is uh, Privileged Identity Management. So basically it's a service in which uh, Azure Active Directory that enables you to manage, control, and monitor access to important resources in your organization. So this is the diagram that uh, we are going to implement today. So you can see this particular uh, structure we already created in the previous uh, video in which we have created a tenant and user one, user two, user three. And uh, for user one, we have given a global administrator role. So we have completed with this thing. So if you want to know more about it, please check the previous videos. And uh, now we'll be talking about access one. So we'll be concentrating on access one and uh, we'll be completing it today. So let's go ahead and uh, start with access one. So let me open my GitHub. make sure that you are in this tenant if you are not there in this tenant make sure you switch the accounts so right now i'm in this tenant so i'm in the right location if you are in the default one make sure you switch it so once it is done go back to your home and you can click pim since uh, PIM. so this azure uh, ad privilege identity management click that so coming to the task one if you see the task one we have to give billing administrator role to this particular user which is user two so let's go ahead and uh, do that so under the manage you can see azure ready roles click that and uh, under manage you can see the roles and you have to select appropriate role here in this case it's billing administrator so just click bill so you can see there is a billing administrator role here so click that and uh, i've already added the user so let me show you how it has been done so you have to just click add assignments and uh, the role will be selected default and you have to just select the members in this case it's user 2 so when you click you just need to select user 2 select and uh, you can go to the next in which we have two different assignments which is uh, eligible and active so there is nothing much difference for these two rules for but uh, if we talk about eligible so it can activate the role when they need it whereas if that is uh, if you click active you just need to give a proper justification and it will be activated by default whereas eligible the user has to request it so this is uh, the basic difference between this so if you want to know more about it please check the previous videos and uh, so this is how we can assign it so now i have assigned user to this uh, to this particular role which is building administrator so now when uh, you know during the sign in the user two will be eligible to use the building administrator role so this is the task one so coming to the task two in the exercise one we have to configure the role to require approval to activate and add eligible member so similarly just go back just click roles under roles you can check the roles and uh, here you have to select the global uh, reader so as per the diagram you can see the next thing would be the global reader so i'll just go back here i'll just click global so when you click global reader so I've already used uh, user 2 here so now you have to have approver as well in this case the approver will be user 3 so you have to keep user 3 as an approver so for that you have to go to the settings so these are the default settings of that global reader you can see coming to the approvers I have added one member in this case it's it is user 3 so to assign it you need to just click edit and you make sure that this particular checkbox is selected which is require approval to activate and select the appropriate members here so in this case i have user 3 according to the diagram so just select it and click update it so next and make sure uh, it is allowed permanent eligible assignment and just click activate 
so it will be done when you click update and uh, once it is done so the task 3 is to give a user permanent assignment role so let's go back let's go back coming to the roles so in the task 3 you have to give security administrative role so I've already given it but just need to add the assignments and uh, select the appropriate user in this case it would be user 2 so you have to click user 2 and select and go next and just update it so it will be permanently eligible for this particular role so so i guess we have completed uh, exercise one task one two and three so that's it for now this video hope you guys have understood the concept of uh, pim so if you like the video please click like the video and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and in the next video we'll be talking about uh, exercise two and three thank you